Hi, my name is Hernan Galpin, and I'm an associate professor at USC Annenberg. Hi, my name is François Barr, and I'm a professor of communication with uh, Professor Galperin. We are currently working on studying the digital divide. It's essentially trying to understand how people are using technology and have access to technology and engage with technology, and how that impacts opportunities for social progress, education, and employment outcomes. The internet is becoming so essential to achieving many uh, goals in daily lives that if you don't have access, that tends to impact uh, what else you can do with your life. So it makes it harder to get a job, to stay in touch with family, to build social networks. Social inequality is one of the greatest challenges of our times. It's been rising over the last 30 years. And with my colleague, Professor Barr, we've taken on a project about homelessness and the use of technology by the homeless population in Los Angeles. I've been studying technology and its social impact for over two decades. By looking at the homeless population in, in Los Angeles, we're trying to understand how some of the most marginalized populations in this country are using technology for their own well-being. So this project involves multiple research methods. Some are quantitative, where we ask people questions uh, through surveys. Some are more qualitative, where we have interviews and we have conversations with people to understand their lives. And others are participatory, in the sense that we work together side by side uh, with people who live on the street to design solutions that help them. So our co-design method involves a community partner, LA Can, and the idea is to work with them to bring together a group of folks who live on the street in Skid Row and who can bring their own experience and their own expertise to the design of possible solutions. And as we started to design Wi-Fi access for people, it came out that the biggest problem that they were facing initially was how to charge their phones. They said before we can even think about accessing the internet, we need to be able to charge our phones. And then building some prototypes with them uh, that we can then test in real life. Being part of a research project is part of the education for our students, particularly the master's and the doctoral students. The goal of a research university is to engage students with the research and train them. For us, it's very important to be able to do research with people who live in LA, who are our neighbors, but there are also people with commitments, with families, with needs, with desires. And in many cases, we think the technology solution we can help design with them are going to help improve their lives.